for today's video. Uh, I got Frankie with us. We were out here, uh, cleaned the truck up yesterday, and uh, I actually had uh, a guy by the name of James Vio reach out to me about a month and a half ago, and he's got a YouTube channel. I'm sure some of you guys follow him. If not, go check him out. I will include his channel in the description below so you guys can see what he's got. He's on the west coast of Florida. I'm on the east coast, so it's about a hour and 50 two hour uh, ride over to his side but he reached out to me anyways like I said about a month and a half ago wants to get the truck on the channel he actually found me on Instagram so he wanted to uh, put it on the channel and ask some questions get some good shots and pictures of it so pretty excited to do that so that's our reason for heading over there today uh, we're also meeting up with a couple hopefully a couple other people over there but I brought some uh, some stickers on the way in case we're running anybody that wants one uh, I got some some with us we can get some merch out but uh, this is where we are. We're Alligator Alley, basically a highway that goes across the state of Florida, the lower southern half of the state that takes you from the east side to the west side and back again. This is going to be our view for about the next 45 minutes or so, but we should be there in, like I said, about 45 minutes. So we'll get over there. We'll uh, meet up with Justin and uh, we'll go from there and show you what we got. Also wanted to add in there, this is the first, I guess, actual road trip that the truck has been on, uh, extended trip besides making just local trips around town and being on the highway for a few minutes at a time. But uh, temps are awesome. The thing doing, uh, let me see if I get this thing right at 70, you can see it. So like right around 68, 70 miles an hour, EGTs are hanging like right at, right around 580, 585, which is pretty awesome. Coolant temps, great. Oil pressure's awesome. Bolts are great. The truck's nice and smooth. So I really uh, honestly couldn't be happier with how it's run. I've had a few people reach out to me to ask me, how the truck's been doing and overall it's it runs very smooth the, the temps are great i have one very very small leak and people i've already kicked myself for it but i wanted to buy that weldon uh dipstick adapter and it blows my mind because i have a brand new uh i've got a brand new oil pan on the truck when i did the when i did the motor as most of you know and i also put a brand new dipstick uh, adapter with a brand new o-ring and the thing still leaks so i have like a pinhole leak somewhere that i have to try and adjust so i might buy i know strictly diesel makes a nice billet aluminum uh repair kit that guarantees no leaks so may look into uh may look into doing that here in the future but just wanted to tell everybody how the, the truck was doing on the ride over we are now in the spot uh we just met up with justin just did a quick overview of the truck and uh sunny west coast of florida pretty similar to where we're from but uh the sun is definitely out today got a cool little uh Kind of a dead end spot down here, which is pretty sweet. Not really a uh, normal tire. To... Oh, there's Frankie. Uh -huh. Yeah, shined the truck up yesterday, but it's been running good. Like I said, all the all the temps, everything looks good. The the new clutch fan's working well. The diesel side clutch fan and trucks trucks running good. Pretty happy with it. Drives me nuts though. This I know you guys. I think I posted a video uh, last year, but this reservoir is brand new. This is a Motorcraft part, and it was crystal clear and you could see the nice green coolant but ever since obviously when the block was done and it was and it was honed and gone through obviously rust builds up since it's cast iron so as the coolant's running through it starts to change color of the uh of the actual uh coolant overflow tank so just that, that's just me nitpicking but overall the the thing's doing really well i had a couple of small oil leaks and, and issues that i ended up figuring out just a couple of seals and o-rings so a lot of little stuff but super uh super happy to be out here but just enjoying the time we're going to jump over to, to justin's truck in, in just a minute and show you what he's got over there we're here with justin uh, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna turn the camera around let him talk to talk to you guys about his truck it's not a 7.3 but it is it is a pretty nice rig so justin welcome to the channel tell us what you got man how you doing i appreciate it so this is my 05 ram 2500 uh with the 59 cummins in it to go you know nothing crazy done to it exhaust intake mm3 tuner custom tuning from gordon um the truck's leveled on two and a half inch coils Skyjacker, um, then it's on 22 by 14 Anthems on 33 by 1450 Furies MTs. Um, you know, all recon lighting, 5% tint all around. Nice, nice, yeah, the recon lighting is awesome. I appreciate it. Uh, the grill, it's a E Auto grill, mesh grill. Um, a lot of people do ask about that, and people actually ask about that badge pretty often. The website I got it from at the time. Uh, isn't even available anymore, so I really don't know where you could pick it up, but I was lucky enough to get it at the time um, That's basically I think a quick run that also has a fast 165 lift pump on it. So it's got the basics um, Like I was talking to Brandon before my goal, you know, it's ready for a build trans turbo injectors all yeah, that. Yeah. my goal of hopefully being you know 650 700 horsepower in the future um, just everyone building a vehicle knows it takes time and money i'm 
20 years old. So it sure does. <laughs> step by step and just trying to continue with the build because it's hard to just pull seven grand, you know, yep. 20 years old on a transmission, but. Yeah, you've done a lot with it for little, sure. But shortly we'll get there. Yeah, it's a clean truck, man. I like it a lot. Right. And also thanks for having me over here. It's pretty cool, man. I like to network and it's cool to meet different people and see different trucks and stuff like that. So yeah, it's awesome. But uh, again, we're, we're out here. We're gonna try and do some See, we're gonna get a little crazy out here for a minute. They got a nice open area, so we'll see what we got. And I took over the camera. <laughs> Feels good, man. The the uh, valve strength is doing their, their job right now. Mm -hmm. <laughs> How did it sound from out there? Sound amazing. Sound good. Gotta, we gotta let her eat. Maybe you know, warm her up a little bit yeah. and uh, give her a nice little burn. Stretching. Out. It's just stretching yeah. right now. <laughs> oh yeah. It's a close course, obviously. We don't do any of this on the roadway. I don't condone street racing and doing any of that stuff. So, you guys are do crazy stuff. Make sure it's safe. I don't I don't condone any of that. It's a nice close course. Nobody's around. There's no traffic. No pedestrians. Two pedestrians, but. Oh yeah. We actually got. Uh, you can't see, but way down there, there's a. Uh, bunch of uh, worker, workers uh, actually blocking off the whole road, but they, uh, they let us squeeze by. And, uh, nice. The smoke, the smoke just blends right in. Yeah. The smoke blends in. We, smoke we could be grilling. In. We could yeah. be grilling, firing up generators, you know, nothing crazy. Oh yeah. We got dead end over here, so uh, it's all safe. It's safe over here. Alright, so we're gonna, you know, give this another take here. Give it a little more sauce. Brandon's a little scared, but, you know, we're gonna we got a two-hour ride back, so we're trying to be uh, yeah. trying to be safe here. Yeah, but uh, you know, just ease into it, nice. You know, you don't have to hit limiter. Get the tires warm, right? We yeah, exactly. That that's a good point. Everybody loves smoke. Every, I know everybody loves it. Yeah. Why does everybody love it so much? I, I don't know. know. It's just they love loud noises. And black smoke. Yep. And then the white smoke. It's good the too. Tires. The white smoke, and then it becomes gray smoke, which is pretty cool. Oh yeah. Justin's getting that's the expert it. shot here. Yep. He's there he is. He's got a tripod. He's, he's, uh, yeah, he's, he's full commit on it. For sure. All right. Frankie's been Frankie's being the, the bad one here. He's kind of like the half half horns, half halo. Frankie's like double horns kind of guy. Oh, yeah. So <laughs> we'll get back to you. Yeah. <laughs> So we convinced Brandon to do a little bit more of a burnout. Look at that there. That's what I'm talking about. He's over there. They're talking about the interior. Nothing crazy going on with it, but it's nice, clean, blue interior. I used to have a Ford Taurus. 1995 Ford Taurus was my first car. And uh, it had all blue interior. That thing was clean, but somebody ended up crashing into it, and uh, there goes my Ford Taurus. But. So we're just gonna actually have Frankie move the truck for us. But we're gonna do a. Uh, we're just finishing up the rest of the video here. Just gonna give uh, Justin some revving here, just so he can hear the exhaust. And it's definitely different being outside of your own truck. I try to do that every now and again, but. There goes Frankie. <laughs> it's really hot over there. Yeah, no, for sure. You can hear that turbo pretty good, actually. <laughs> I'll get out. I'll let you do your thing. I'll get out of your way. I'm gonna keep rolling. Okay. Yeah. 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 Just give him a thumbs up if you want. If you want to tell him. Woo wee. Yeah, girl. Man, love me, love me an OBS, I tell you what. Tell you what, love me an OBS. And there's planes, there's gotta be an airport somewhere over here, but there's planes coming in all over the place. Frank has gotta be loving this. Hey, how's that feel? <laughs> Look at this kid, he's gonna be smiling the whole time. This is, this is great. <laughs> We're gonna get the dually up to this standard. Oh my 
god. It would be amazing. <laughs> Get the dually up and running. Absolutely. I don't know how upset he would be if uh, if I really took this thing for a rip. But we're gonna do it anyways. We don't care. We don't care at all. I say about that? Does he approve of the pull or what? Yep, yep. What do you, you think about that? <laughs> That's pretty good. We're gonna start buying parts as soon as we get home. I know it. Oh yeah. I can't do that. I'd love to. I know. Oh man. This is sweet. Sweet. This is awesome. Stoke Brandon had me come out here with them. You know, nice little day trip to the west coast. Alright, so Brandon and I just uh, finished up uh, hanging out with uh, Justin Fio and we're going to try and meet up with some other people and see if we can get done on the west coast over here. Yeah, we're actually going to go uh, to uh, I think a local power stroke shop. Uh, Dave Garcia, if anybody knows who he is, he has that nice sweet lowered Super Duty. We got some stickers with us, so I'm going to go, he reached oh, out yeah. to me and said he wanted one, so we're going to go get him one and we may go see another OBS. Uh, we're trying to, we're in the works right now trying to figure it out, but if we go see that, I'll show you who, uh, who we got yeah. for, uh, for today. Trying to get a lot done over here on the West Coast while we're, uh, while we have the time. Oh yeah, it's only 11 <laughs> o'clock too, so yeah. we woke up, uh, the, the, the day's young. Drove over here pretty early this morning, so. Yep, day's young. There's Justin at the light again. Stay tuned. All right, so, now we told you guys we we're gonna try and meet up with another OBS, and uh, we're gonna, before we show you, they are behind us. We're heading to a parking lot so we can uh, have some kind of quiet time to, to see what we got here. Uh, this is a pretty cool truck. Truck I've, I've seen for a long time on um, on Instagram. I'm sure some people have seen this truck floating around Instagram. So once we get to the parking lot, we will show you who we are with and uh, get a little uh, little in-depth tour, ask some questions, and see what we got. Found a nice uh, newly paved parking lot here, and this is. Uh, this is the truck we have out here today, and there she is, the queen of 7.3s herself, <laughs> Miss Jordan. This is her 93 F350, is that right? Yep, 93. So here she is, 93 F350. I'm sure you guys, like I said, have seen this truck uh, on the internet and Instagram. I think she said it's on YouTube and a few different places, but uh, we were able to catch up with Jordan while we're over here on the West Coast. So we're trying to get a lot of a lot of stuff done today, a lot of 7.3 stuff today. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna stop talking and let Jordan start talking about your truck. So Jordan, tell us what you got here. So I got this truck when I was 16. Definitely looked a lot different when I first got it. More yep. grandpa, farm truck kind of style. So I've uh, put my own flare on it. I've got the 24 by 14 hostile wheels. Nice. And I've got the amp tires. I believe they're 35 by 13 and a half. So pretty good fit. Yep. Definitely not too bad of a lip coming out there from the wheel. Yeah, they fit nice. Thank you. I've got the uh, PMF RSK on the front, two and a quarter. Um, I've got the Fox Reservoir shocks. Definitely love these. I did see those. Yeah. Things. Good, good touch. I definitely like how the way they look. Definitely an improvement in the ride. Um, I do have to say though, for anybody else who wants to do suspension work to their OBS, do the 05 axle swap. <laughs> do the, I know nothing about four wheel drive stuff, so do the 05 axle swap. <laughs> yeah, just do it. Um, it looks really good. It definitely rides better, but this is a good alternate way just to save a little bit more money and Absolutely. still get some improvement. But, um, Absolutely. How about these headlights? I know I, I saw them. I haven't said anything to yeah, about you. What do you so got for these? My good friend Tony Rojo made these. He definitely killed it. So they've got the projector. Um, I've got the tail lights that I've got from him that I don't have in just yet. But uh, those nice. are going to be next. They pretty much look exactly the same as the CP Attic ones, but he like takes them cool. apart and kind of puts that LED strip in there. But um, so much brighter, so much more effective. Oh, yeah. Um, you know, the, the um, projector blinks and stuff when I've got the blinker on. Oh, that's cool. Yeah, I could probably nice. even turn it on if you wanted to. That would be cool. Yeah, yeah if you want to throw that on, we'll check that out. Yeah, these, uh, if you guys are looking for aftermarket headlights, there's a lot of company that makes them, or excuse me, companies that make them, but... CP Attic's always my go-to. I have, obviously you guys have seen my truck. I have I have their clears. These I think are actually the same exact headlights. She just has the darker. Looks like she has the darker housing in there. I could be wrong. Maybe it's just the color of the truck, but uh, they definitely look good. So she's gonna give us a little flick of ruski here. Oh, nice. I don't know if the blinker's gonna work with the truck being off. Yeah, it's uh, it's just going. Um, looks like it just has. It might have to be. I just see the halo, but it was flashing. It was fra It was flashing orange. Yeah, I think the truck's gonna be 
Okay. That's fine. There it is. So now you guys you can actually get a good view of the uh, of the turn signal there, which is pretty awesome. It's got the projector headlights like she was mentioning in there. So that is really cool. Sometimes the whole thing. Yeah, that, that's awesome. It's little things like that. We were just we actually talking before was the the cool part about these is bringing those modern things into the old body trucks. I think a lot of people do that even with old muscle cars and stuff. And that's a very, uh, to me, that's very unique, very interesting. And it keeps things uh, kind of fresh. People kind of put their own twist on things. So uh, very cool little addition there. So another thing that I've got on this is the Far From Stock dip pan. And I got it powdered to match with prismatic powders. Definitely pretty happy with it. Yeah, very cool. Disregard the dirtiness. I live in Florida, <laughs> it rains like every day. Yes, it does. We all know that. But, we all know the Florida struggle. That's the way it goes. Yeah, LMC roll pan. Yeah, um, this is awesome. This is the place to go if you want to put a roll pan on your truck. So clean, so smooth. I definitely love the way it flows with the license plate. Yeah, it does. I remember so, you mentioned that before. You guys can see that it doesn't uh, doesn't have that the outline on it, so it kind of sits kind of low there. That's pretty awesome. Yeah. These taillights, I noticed when you were backing out at the gas station, you have um, these are LEDs in here, correct? Yeah, so you yeah. have to have the resistor to run the red bulb, right? Yeah. Okay. Wiring in the resistors was one of my like first big wiring jobs. <laughs> nice. Where do you put that? Is that you just pull out the housing? Because I've never done it, but is yeah, that? Yeah. So they want you to kind of keep it up and out of the way because they will get kind of hot. So right. they want you to kind of tap it into the corner where that, um, you know, where everything is just kind of out of the way. Right. There's a decent amount of room in there, surprisingly. Very cool. But um, but yeah, it wasn't too bad. Definitely pretty happy with them. Same exact housing for the uh, Tony Rojo tail lights. Yeah. But um, he's just got like that LED strip in there. That just gives it. The nice. So he's got the strip. Wear. Very yeah. cool. But um, same exact exhaust tip I've had it since I got when I was 16. Very cool. Still gives you the diesel right. effect. <laughs> yeah. See, the reason I love roll pans because from the back you can see the you can see the tailpipe and the exhaust right, coming out, right. which is. Which is, it's like the trademark, you know, especially of, of, of the diesel culture, which is pretty awesome. Yeah, I'm definitely excited to spice it up a little bit. Gonna clean it up some more. I've been doing it slowly but surely, but you know, everything costs money. Yep, <laughs> a little at a time, that's the way that it goes. Yeah. You know, I just yeah. noticed your your third brake light is uh, is different than mine. I guess I, I'm, they must have changed that. I think there are that. a different couple kinds, yeah. Yeah, yeah that's I pretty interesting. But I've um, cool. never had a problem with that. I know some people do run into some problems transmission wise with the lighting. Yeah, yeah very cool. Yeah, show us what you got in here. So it's a little dirty, That's but okay. uh, yeah, this is the interior. We've got it all painted black, carpet and everything. Got the black carpet. Very cool. Um, yeah, painted dash. Solid bench. I like these seats are pretty comfortable. I, I'm pretty happy with it. I do have plans to swap it to the set of like platinum seats or something. Nice. But, um, That'd be a nice little touch. Yeah, I just have to find a set, set really. I just haven't really got on it. But, Very yeah, cool. Definitely pretty happy with it. Lots of plans in the future. But uh, just taking it slow. Yeah, little by little, and that's that, that's uh, that, that's kind of how it goes, you know, with these things. I'm sure everybody knows that when you have something that you you know you're working with and you want to make it your own, and some people buy and sell them, and that's fine, that's their thing. But if you like having these things together and, and you know slowly making them nice, it definitely pays off in the uh, in the long run. So this truck and Jordan was just talking to me about it. It hurt my feelings just a little bit, but it, this is a '93, so the '93 has the IDI. It's a non-turbo, but it is a '7.3 at the end of the day. Uh, but she does plan on swapping. I, it's it's like it's like nails on a chalkboard. She's planning on swapping a 12 valve into it, but that's okay. Uh, she's planning on doing that, and and that's fine. She still has she still has a. Oh, at the end of the day, it's still it's still a pretty solid truck. Very unique. The paint's very unique. The gentleman she bought it from painted the truck up. So, so very cool. But I'm super happy we were able to get out here and, and see this thing in person, and uh, you know, make it happen. But hope you guys like what like what we got here. But yeah, she is definitely a definitely a very unique build and very unique truck. So it's the next day. Totally forgot to film the outro that I normally do on all my videos, but just to kind of round this video off and finish everything up here, truck did awesome on the way back home again, and uh, really had a blast to share with Frankie. Frankie was co-piloting the whole time, navigating everything, so Frankie, you're the man, thank you as always. And uh, thank you to Justin, uh, the time was great, and also to Jordan, thank you for bringing that awesome truck out so we could show everyone uh, what we got going on over here down in South Florida, trying to hold down the OBS game. I think we're doing a pretty good job, so uh, let's keep it up. So I will put their social media stuff down in the description below so you guys can check out their pages and go ahead and give them some likes and some follows and check out what they got going on. Uh, Jordan posts pretty frequently and I know Justin does as well and they both have uh, uh, some pretty cool builds. So 
definitely check out what they have going on on their channel. As always guys, thank you for watching and I definitely appreciate all the support. We're almost to 10,000 subscribers, so that's a goal of mine in the next couple of weeks. So again, thank you for the continued support. And finally, shout out to Jelly Built Performance. Uh, Brian has been sponsoring the page, as you guys know, if you guys have been following along. So do not forget to check out Brian's page, jellybuiltperformance.com for all your 7.3 power stroke tuning needs and performance needs. That's all that I have for this one, guys. We will see you at the next one. My name is Brandon. This is the 7.3 Garage, and we will see you next time.